Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, and yes, as you can tell from the title, I did go back for more for Candle Day. So this is gonna be part two of my Candle Day haul. Um, yeah, so um, if you watch, make sure you watch my first video um, so you'll understand some of the stuff that I talk about in this video. But um, if you watch the first video, you will know that um, I really wanted to get sugared blueberry donut, which was one of the exclusive candles that they were releasing um, just for Candle Day. And apparently, I'm watching a lot of other candle haul videos too from Candle Day. And um, apparently, my store wasn't the only one that only had like a very, very, very few of the um, exclusive collection. So um, on my first trip, I was like one of the first people there. They didn't have any of them set out on display. I looked all over while everybody else was like grabbing all the stuff at the front. I was like searching the whole store for that stuff because I knew that stuff was gonna sell out faster. And so I looked all around the store, I couldn't find it. And then um, I asked some of the salespeople after they were like digging through crates that were under tables, they were able to find some, but at first they didn't even know who what I was talking about. I had to like describe what it looked like and you know, the names of them and stuff. And so um, the first trip, we were only able to find the unicorn sprinkles, which I was not crazy about, so I did not pick up one of those. And then um, one of the cereal marshmallow bars, which I did get one of those. It's really sweet though, so I just grabbed one. Um, and plus they only had like maybe one crate of each of those, or I think the unicorn sprinkles, they had two crates. And the crates only fit like six candles, y'all. So they really, they really were not prepared, I guess, I don't know. So, the first trip they did, we couldn't find any sugared blueberry donut. They had tons of crates all over the store though. So I'm like, I could have dug through all those crates if I really wanted to. I looked for like, cause I could tell from the lid, like the design on the lid, I was looking um, at the crates, but I wasn't about to go digging through all of them. But um, I was kind of like looking for the lid um, and seeing like if I could see that lid. And then if I did, I would check and see what it is or whatever. But um, I wasn't about to go digging through all those crates because there was a ton of people there. Thankfully, I do live in a small town, so it wasn't like super, super crowded, but there was a lot of people. It was kind of hard to maneuver around the store. Um, but yeah, so I was really bummed I didn't get a blueberry sugar donut on my first trip. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to wait till the crowd dies down. I'm going to come back out because um, my mom was coming over to watch the baby so that I could get out of the house. Um, and run some errands and stuff. And so I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop by there, you know, um, whenever I get to go back out and see if they have anything else set out. Because a lot of people also said that once they start selling out of a lot of the candles, they'll start displaying some of the um, new candles that are supposed to release after candle day. And so um, to like replenish the candles on the shelves and stuff so that they always have candles for candle day. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and. Maybe they'll have some of the exclusive candles on display after they go through all these crates <laughs> and then um, and then see if they also have some of the new ones set out on display too. So I'm so glad I did because you guys, look what I found. Oh my gosh, y'all. So it's crazy how this happened. It was, I walked in the store first thing and I looked to my right and this was by itself, like with um, the whole like, I don't know what the collection was called, like the winter collection, I think, with like the Merry Mistletoe, the mint chocolate. It was on that display. And this was like right by itself, all by itself. Last one, did not see any more in store because I searched. I was in that store for like a good 30 minutes, probably, because I was searching for all the other, like searching for more of these because I really wanted more of these. But this was the last one. And it was by its lonesome with like random candles. So I'm so thankful I went back, y'all. This smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells just like the, um, if y'all watched my previous Bath and Body Works video, it smells just like the new Blueberry Shortbread, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread collection from the Body Collection. It smells just like that. It's so good. So it's described as fresh picked blueberries, glazed donut, sugar cane crystals with essential oils. And it's this really pretty, like fun teal blue color. Oh my gosh, I really wish I could have got more of this. I would have probably bought like 10 of just this one. It's so good. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have, but it's worth stocking up on. So if your store has any of these or if they ever come back out with more of these, I'm definitely picking more up. And I love the design of this label. It is probably my favorite. <laughs> so cool. 
So I'm really glad I went back and found that one. Plus, I was searching on the store to see if they had any of the blueberry pie. Um, because they had a bunch of like old um, candles that were already discontinued and stuff. And so I was searching for the blueberry pie. I never, I missed out on that because I was pregnant at the time and I was not interested in any smells at all because of my nose. <laughs> was really sensitive to scents and I was really sick. So I missed out on blueberry pie so I didn't even get that candle at all. And so I looked um, on that shelf and this one of the sales associates was like, what are you looking for? And I told her and she was like, oh yeah, we have them over here. They're um, in the new packaging. I didn't know they were coming out with a new package of blueberry pie. News to me. But look, they had a whole like setup of this stuff. I, I should have got more than one. But it's so good. I really do prefer the sugar blueberry donut over this, but this one is really good. So blueberry pie is juicy blueberries, flaky crust, and sugar crystals. So it's really just missing the glazed donut part, I guess. I guess that's what makes other ones so like that one definitely is like warm and bakery. This one, it smells like a blueberry pie, but it's definitely stronger on the blueberry where the other one's more strong on like the donut bakery note. But this one is really good too. So blueberry pie, I was super excited. It's like a really pretty ombre blue. I do prefer the older packaging where it had like the cutout decal kind of thing. I don't know, it was like a cutout and it was really cool for the 4th of July, but I missed out on that one. So I'm glad I at least get to try blueberry pie though. So I'm not complaining. And then I have never heard of this one. I don't know what year this one came out. Maybe this was this year, I don't know. I missed out on it too. This is Fall Farmhouse, and this is really cute packaging too. It's kind of like a rustic package, and then it's got like the imprint of leaves. It's kind of hard to tell with the glare and stuff, but yeah, it's Fall Farmhouse, and this was with all like the old um, candles. Um, this is Spiced Pumpkin, Forest Pine Branch, and Fresh Fall Air with Essential Oils, and it's got a really cool kind of lid too. It's just like wood grain looking. Oh my gosh, it's so good though. You definitely get the pine. And you kind of get some spices. It's not specifically like pumpkin, like in your face pumpkin. No, it's definitely like fall air. Like It really makes me think of just fall time. I love it. So I'm so glad that they have this one there. It's so good, y'all. So if you get to see a fall farmhouse anywhere, definitely try it because oh my gosh. I should have got more than one. <laughs> I'm saying that about everything, but oh my gosh. And then um, I got this blessed candle. It's really cute packaging. I thought I could use this really all around, all year round. It kind of goes with my living room colors and stuff. And so it's pumpkin pecan waffles. So I love pumpkin pecan waffles. I've only ever had it in the mason jar, so I never had a full candle of it. And it's a really good performer, y'all. So it's maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar with essential oils. So good. It's definitely pumpkin pecan waffles. Like you smell all of it. It's so good. It's, it really makes me hungry though. I want to eat some pumpkin pecan waffles now. That's so good. It's white wax. Definitely if you love bakery scents, try pumpkin pecan waffles. If you've never tried it, you will not regret it. If you don't like really sweet, sweet scents though, you won't like it. And then next I got a vanilla snowflake. I really just wanted to get something light to put in our bedroom. Um, that's not too overpowering or anything so that we can sleep and it's not like smothering us to death. <laughs> and so I thought this one would be good because I've heard it's a really light, um, a light scent and it's not the strongest performer. So it's better for like smaller rooms. And so vanilla snowflake is described as frozen vanilla, iced fur noodles, mint leaf, and coconut flakes with essential oils. And yeah, you do, you definitely get like a, like a sweet vanilla in the coconut. I don't really get the mint. I mean, it is kind of like fresh smelling or the fur. I don't know. It's just like a fresh vanilla coconut kind of smell. It kind of smells like a body, like lotion kind of thing. I don't know. It smells pretty good. I've gotten it before, I remember, and I took it back just because I thought it was so light and I really wanted something strong. But now that I think about it, I think it'd be really good for a bedroom. And it's got really good reviews online. So a lot of people, a lot of people do love this scent. So I thought I'd give it a try. And so 
that is all the candles I got for my second trip. And I also just went ahead and picked up a lip gloss. I've been wanting to try their lip glosses. I'm actually wearing it right now and it's kind of like a lip tint gloss. So I thought it was a really pretty kind of like nude color. So it's just something really nice to put in my purse. And it is um, a mint. It's got 100% natural mint. So I love like anything mint um, on my lips and it's supposed to help with breath. It's supposed to, it says mint infused for fresh breath. It's got peppermint oil, um, 2%, peppermint oil, 2%, whatever that means. I guess 2% of it is peppermint oil, I don't know. But yeah, so I got that and also with this trip, I ended up using the 15 off of 40 coupon. So let me see what it made my candles. I think it made them like $6 or something. Let me check. Yeah, it made them $6.91. So $6.91 each, where they're originally $9.50 for candle day. So that is a really good steal. So not a I know a lot of people were really upset that they increased the price from, I think it was like $8.95 last year to $9.50 and they used to be as low as like $7.50 I believe. I remember, I think I celebrated my first candle day whenever it was $8 um, per candle. So that was, it was a few years ago. I want to say like 2015 or 16, I think it was $8. So um, yeah, it has gone up in price, but with it like them still using coupons, I think that's really great that they're able to, that they allow coupons even though they're marked down super low. Um, because yeah, I got it for $6.91. That's a steal for these candles, you guys. They are definitely worth that, way more than that. But um, let's see, I also got, uh, I was gonna see how much the lip gloss, oh yeah, the lip gloss. So it's originally $7.50, not worth that to me, but um, it marked it down to $5.45, so not too bad. Um, so let's see. Um, so my total discount was, I saved $90. So I ended up spending 40 before taxes. So not bad in my opinion for one, two, three, four, five candles and a lip balm or lip gloss. And then also you um, get a free uh, coupon. So I already got one for my first trip and it's a free gift with any $10 purchase up to $16.50 value. So it starts December 20th through the 24th. So yeah, if you went in store, you get that coupon. And then also I, um, I racked up, I got two more rewards, I think, on my app. So I've got lots of stuff I get to spend in the near future. <laughs> But yeah, so that's all I got for candle day. If you saw my first video, I got six candles um, in that haul. And then this one, I got five candles. So I definitely, I feel like I did some damage compared to what I usually buy. I don't usually buy a ton of candles because I do have so much, um, so much candles and a ton of wax in general. So I think I did pretty good. Like, I don't know. I did way more than I was expecting. I was um, planning on getting, like I had a list going in that I was wanting to get certain things. Um, I was able to get pretty much everything on the list that I wanted to. I didn't end up getting Tree Farm because I smelled it in store. They actually did have it in store, surprisingly. And I had it in my car or my bag and then I'd end up putting it back. I didn't really care for it that much. I don't know. It wasn't, I don't know. I probably, I should have gotten it just so I could try it. But I wasn't crazy about that scent whenever I smelled it on cold. And I know a lot of people are raving about it, so I should have gave it a chance, but, um, sorry, my dog's freaking out. And that, so I didn't end up getting that. And I also had unicorn sprinkles on my list. Didn't end up getting that. I didn't care for the scent, but I did, um, I wanted to get, baby, come here. She's weird. I did want to get the sugar blueberry donut. I got that. I wanted to get blueberry pie. Got that. Um, and then I got some like surprising kind of things, you know. I wanted to get to season, got that. I wanted mint chocolate, got that. I got everything on my list that I really did want. Um, so I was really thankful for that. And then I got a couple like, you know, ones that I wasn't planning on getting that I just ended up finding in store. So 
I had a really good candle day experience, you guys. So hopefully you guys did too. Comment down below and let me know how your candle day went, what all you got, um, if you got everything on your list that you wanted. Um, yeah, so I'd love to hear what you guys what you guys think about candle day. Let me know if this is your first candle day. This is definitely my this is my third because I did candle day, um, like I said, 2016, I think. And then last year, I don't think I did candle day for 2017. I don't know what happened that year, but I must have slept on it. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely did last year and then this year. So this is my third one, I think, um, if I can remember correctly. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know down in the comments, like I said, what you got. Um, I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So, all right, I'm going to hop off here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.